Hey guys, it's me, Kashak. Even though it may not look like it, it is me, and I am back with another episode of Intern Diaries. Um, I don't know what week it is. It's been that long. It's been that long that I don't know what week it is, but I'll put it up here. So I haven't been, I haven't been down to the radio station in a couple of weeks. It's been a hot minute since I've come down here and, you know, did my thing. After that, <laughs> the week after Christmas, I was like, I'm gonna take my time, I'm gonna relax. And then, you know, I'll just, I'll go back, I'll go back to work next week. The week after, do the same thing. I'm like, I'll go back next week. 2018 came, January. First week of January was jam packed of things to do. So I'm like, even though I really wanna go down to the radio station and make a video, edit it and post it, I couldn't do that because too many things were going on. Two birthdays, my nephew and my sister, um, like six or seven appointments. I had to renew a lot of things as it is the new year, I had to renew a lot of, anyway. Along with the new year comes a lot of new things to do. And unfortunately coming down to the radio station was something that kept getting pushed to next week, next week, next week, next week. So now we are in February and we are well into <laughs> the year. I wouldn't say well into the year because it's only month two out of 12, but you know what I'm saying. I hope your year has been fabulous so far. It's been great for me. I can't believe that it's only February because I feel like so much has been like, so there's so many, I've gone through so many life changes, but it's not about me. Well, maybe it is. Yeah, I had a lot of, there been a lot of kind of changes in my life and adjustments major adjustments that i have to get that i'm like kind of getting used to and the hair is not one of them this is just temporary i just felt like whenever <laughs> whenever i whenever i feel like i'm kind of losing touch with not with myself because i am in tune with myself but whenever i kind of feel like i'm losing this uh, i'm just so busy i'm so busy i'm working i go home and then there's just there's so many things to do and i can't remember the last time i had a day off or had to sleep in I do something drastic to my parents, so that's that. That's why I'm blonde. I just thought I'd explain that or else a lot of people watching this, there's not even much of you guys who watch this, but that's okay. But a majority of you watching this probably have a lot of questions about the color of my hair. So there you go, giving you the answers. But I'm here now, even though we are, we're a week into February, like the shortest month of the year. I want to talk about something really, really exciting that I was able to do over the summer. I finally launched my fashion magazine, Mine magazine. Um, still working on a domain actually, by the time this video goes out, hopefully there will be a domain to go with Mine magazine. Um, Mine magazine has a project I've been working on since before my time here at The Pulse, but uh, I think I started working on Mine magazine around July of 2017. and. It wasn't until I started working here at The Pulse that the bulk of the work, like the editing, the layout, the building of my digital magazine, my digital website essentially, a lot of that work was done here at my time at The Pulse and I guess I'm just, I'm really grateful that it's finally at a stage where it's an actual thing, you know, it's not just a work in progress, even though I enjoyed working on Mina Magazine so much, it isn't just a work in progress anymore, it's an actual thing minus a domain name but that's coming later and I, I really can't wait to see what Mina Magazine turns into but I'm really I'm, I'm so glad that you know the internship here at The Pulse has brought on so many different opportunities I've grown as a create as a creator so much and I've had so much along with the difficulties that came along each week not just filming the videos, but like kind of finding my way in this world that is so different to like what I'm used to, which is like a classroom. That has taught me so, so much about myself as a creator. And it's taught me lessons that I feel like I won't be able, I, I wouldn't have been able to learn anywhere for free anyway. And um, yeah, and I just wanna, I'm so grateful for the experience of The Pulse because if it wasn't for my internship here at The Pulse, I wouldn't have been able to launch my magazine or I probably would have, but it probably wouldn't have been as good and I probably would have launched it months from now or maybe even a year from now because I wouldn't have had the time to be able to work on Mina Magazine. With that being said, it makes me sad to say that my time here as an intern is coming to an end. Trimester 3 is finishing which means it's time to get my credit point and bounce. I'm kidding. <laughs> 
I'm gonna be around forever. Even though my time as an intern is coming to an end, there is no time limit on me being a volunteer here. And even though um, intern diaries will come to an end, this is the last you'll see of me here. Plus I've got a couple more videos coming out anyway before my time here, before I'm done. So I hope I've done an adequate job of updating you. I kind of struggle to, in general actually, I struggle to articulate my thoughts in a concise and short manner. It kind of just comes out in like, it's like word vomit and then I kind of <laughs> edit my videos. So then it makes sense. And I pray every time that it does make sense. Am I forgetting anything? Knowing me, I'll probably switch off the camera and recording, pack everything up, hop in the car, drive home, and on my way home, I'll be like, I should have mentioned that. I don't know what's next one, you know? Like, I'm kind of a person who, I'm in between believing time is an illusion, but then again, I'm like, Because to a well-organized mind, not to brag or anything, but I feel like my mind is well-organized even though my life is not. To my well-organized mind, I kind of compartmentalize my memories into years. In my mind, I have files. Let's say last year's file in my mind, 2017. Click on that file and you get a burst of memories and a burst of kind of challenges, um, my highs, lows, achievements, failures, struggles of 2018, eight, 17, 17. 17. And then bring on the new year, it's time, it's, it's, it's a time that I welcome and embrace new challenges, new memories to create more. How I view time. So with this year ahead, even though I don't know a lot of my plans for the year, I don't know my plans for the next month. I'm going to embrace all the challenges. The prospect of challenges brings on opportunity for growth. I'm going to welcome that and embrace it and I'm going to take on every opportunity to create. Another thing that 2017 taught me, especially my time here at the Post, is that to appreciate the process, not just the end goal. I don't know if this video is going to make sense. It's probably all over the place, but I feel like I've been talking for long enough. I want to wish you a very happy and abundant and safe new year. I know we're a week into February, but I hope that this year teaches you. I hope that this year treats you and your family well. I hope this year challenges you creatively to create something. I hope this year brings on... Sorry, that's gross. I hope this year brings on new ventures, new adventures. Ventures and adventures. Um, I feel like now I'm just talking for the sake of talking, but... I think this is the part where I'll, where I'll, where I'll, uh, this is the part where I'll say goodbye, but I promise you that you will see me again soon. Until next time, over and out.